Good morning, Samba. How are you? Can I pet you today? Can I pet you today? Good morning, Tiger. How are you? I can always pet you. I can always pet you. The other day I got a brand new amino, so now I gotta transfer the leftover to the new one. Let's get the agave, the peanut butter. How is everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I had to uh, come to Burbank, film tools, because I have to buy some SDI cables so I can connect my red Komodo to my director's monitor. I feel like a kid at the candy store. I found the SDI cables. Now I have to decide what color do I want. I got Hayes aerosol bottles. Definitely gonna pick up some lens cleaners. If you're gonna be cleaning your lens, I definitely recommend Kimtech. And Red Bull, just in case you get tired of walking around and looking at all the stuff that are so expensive. This is why it's so hard to live anywhere else when you want to be a filmmaker because I feel like if you need peripheral stuff for your camera and production, I can just come here and grab it really quick. Everywhere else, I would have to order it, wait for it, and it's just not gonna be a efficient way to work. Here's a good topic to talk about. What's the difference between a professional gear and consumer gear? So professional gear tend to cost more every single time. And that's because they're built better and they're built for longevity. And they, they're built like a tank. Where in consumer gear, they're made just for the, the everyday, just quick, simple, um, even when you look at your cameras, just the HDMI jack, batteries, they're just made for quick and fun kind of setups. Bye bye film tools, it's been real, time to head to the gym now. It's kind of like people, you know, there's amateurs and there's professional and professionals, you know, when they, it's not how, it's not the job that they do. It's how they do the job. There's a level of standard. There's a level of consistency and whether it's behind the scenes or in front of the scenes, you can always expect a level of work that they provide. And it doesn't matter where you put them in, what atmosphere you put them in, you're always gonna get the same results. Now let's talk about amateurs. Amateurs, man, they're gonna give you a bunch of reasons why they can't do it. They complain about everything. They're not problem solvers. Um, their level of work is not consistent. It's just sloppy. And a lot has to do with their personality, you know? Can you go to war with them? Most of the time, that's a question I ask. Can I go to war with you? If we, go to, if we were to go to war, are you gonna have my back? Can you do the work? Ask that question to yourself. How many people in your life you can go to war with? And I can tell you, it's not that many. I really wanna help people become more self-aware of why things don't go their way why things fail and the best way is to learn from each other learn the difference between being successful and complaining you gotta know the difference I'm gonna walk to the gym gonna get my workout in edit this video and post it have a good one I want to send you that good energy like oh, I always do hopefully you can send that good energy back to someone else that really need it or back to me
Take care, guys.